Welcome back guys. Today I am doing a Selena inspired look for you guys. I posted a picture on my Instagram and I was really channeling Selena vibes and you guys we're all saying you want a Selena look. So this is my take on it. Selena is an inspiration. So I really hope you guys think that I did this look justice and let's get into the tutorial. So this is the picture that inspired this look. I posted this on my Instagram and <laughs> I remember when I saw the picture, I was like, whoa, Selena vibes. And I know that there's a bunch of Selena videos out there right now, especially because the Mac Selena collection. But I was like, you know what? Doesn't matter that there's tons out there. I'm gonna do my take on it and hopefully you guys will like it. So when I think of Selena, I think of a couple major things. I think of that classic red lip that she wore and a little bit of black liner. But when I was looking it up, she actually does a little bit Bit of shadow on her lid as well so I'm gonna try to get as close as I can to the classic Selena look and of course going heavy on the brow is a part of that too I'm gonna start with a little bit of eye primer and I'm starting with the eyes and this eye look is actually really really easy to do it's not that complicated and I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as possible <laughs> For shadows, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal La Palette Nude One palette, which I feel like it has like all those type of brown tones that Selena had on her eyes. Guys, don't kill me. I do not have the Max Selena collection. So if you're hoping to see me use that in this tutorial, I'm sorry. I will not be doing, I will not be using it because I don't have it. So I'm just gonna have to work with what I have, but that's totally fine because I'm sure that's just the way it is for a lot of people, a lot of you guys. You just have to make do with what you have. So it's all good. So the first color that I'm taking is this kind of brown tone right here. Just close to the lash line, but not going too far up. And then once I have that, I'm taking my blending brush and then blending it up to the crease. And I'll just a little bit past the crease and then just kind of up and out. Then I'm going with the darkest brown shadow from the palette. I'm gonna apply this just right at the base and kind of push it up a little bit like that. So it's like darkest just at that base of my lashes. And then just a little bit along the lower lash line, but not too much. Definitely really framed her eyes. Of course, this look is gonna look different on everyone depending on your eye color. So because my eyes are a little lighter, they're gonna it's gonna look a little bit different. But if I had dark eyes like Selena, then this would probably look just like hers. <laughs> now it's time for liner, and I'm gonna do the liner in two parts: before lashes and then after lashes, and I'll show you guys why and I'm using the BH Studio Pro liner. So I'm using an angle brush and the first part before liner, I'm basically just gonna follow my natural lash line. I'm not gonna create the wing at all. And then after my lashes are on, then I'm gonna create the wing. Okay, so that is the first part of the wing. So I just basically followed my natural lash line, kind of just stopped at the outer corner and I'm not gonna do the wing now. I'm gonna put on the lashes first and I'm trying these out for the first time. I got these from Forever 21. These are super cheap. Let's see if they work. Oh yeah, these are thick. Don't know if I love these. They're super easy to put on because they're really light and they have a good, nice, like thick enough band, but I just don't know if I love the shape. I'm gonna just continue. And if I hate them by the end, I will take them off. But for now, I'm gonna leave them. Okay, I don't know. It's a lot of lash and I don't know if it's the right lash for this look. Ooh, let's just keep going though. <laughs> it's just false lashes. It's not the end of the world breathe <laughs> you guys I hope I do this look justice now I'm like nervous oh okay relax so for the wing this part now now that we have the lashes on I could really kind of see um, the shape I 
I mean, if you just kind of look straight down into a mirror, this will really help you make sure that both sides are even. And then you can go in and perfect. I should have trusted my gut instinct. Those lashes were not the right lashes for this look, so I switched them out and I went with good old classic Ardell Demi Wispies. Now I'm just taking a Q-tip and I'm using that to just clean up the liner. Make sure it's perfect. For foundation, I am using the Smashbox Studio Skin, which I've been using a lot lately. And I have to admit, you guys know me, I like I love my Makeup Forever Ultra HD, but this has been a really nice alternative. And I wanted to let you guys know, um, if you're gonna be in LA this weekend, I will be at Gen Beauty, which I'm super excited about. Um, it's gonna be really fun. And if you see me, make sure you come say hi. So if you're gonna be at Gen Beauty, let me know in the comments below, because I would love to know. And then um, just, Follow me on social media so you guys will know where I'll be that day of. Um, but I think it's gonna be a really, really fun event. And then on, so that's this Saturday, um, January 21st. And then on January 20th, on the Friday, I'm gonna be at Creator Day, which is another part of Gem Beauty. And I'm gonna be doing a panel there, a presentation. So if you're gonna go to that, let me know as well. I'm testing out another new product. This is the new Maybelline Illuminator. This is called Corrector Concealer. <laughs> All these super long names. So let's see how this works. So the color that I'm using is Light Medium, number 30, and that is the right color for me. For eyebrows, I'm going to use two products. I'm first starting with the Clinique Super Fine Liner for Brows in the color Soft Brown. And I'm using this to really just fill in any of the bald spots in my brows. And then kind of just frame the top and the bottom of my brows. And then once I have that as my base, then I'm going in with the brow palette of all brow palettes, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Bro, oh my God, every time I try to say this, I say bro palette, brow pro palette. Holy cow, it's not that tricky. Don't know why I keep doing that. Okay, so now I'm going in with this and because I want a nice full brow, I'm gonna play with the darker colors. Probably a little bit darker than I usually go for just because it is a Selena look. Okay, those are some thick brows, but I'm into it. So this is probably my favorite picture of all the pictures I found because it's just classic Selena for me. And she does have like the darker red around the edges and then the lighter red in the center. So I'm going to use a darker lip liner and the one that I'm using is from Ofra. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And the color is Maya. And then for the center of the lip, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss, number 308. So once that's on, what I like to do is to go back with the lip liner and to get that kind of effect of the dark on the outer edge and then the light in the middle, just go back and fill in with the lip liner just around the edges again. And then a little bit of cleanup with a bit of concealer. And then for blush, I'm using this color from Marc Jacobs. It's this beautiful blush and this is called, I'm not sure. 
<laughs> it's on here somewhere. There's so many names, but don't worry guys. Okay, I think it's number 502 Lines and Last Night. I think so. It's the Airbrush Soft Glow Duo. There's, these names are so long, but I will list everything in the description box like I always do for you guys. So make sure you check that out to get the right name. <laughs> oh, this is so pretty. And then the last little part, I'm adding a bit of highlighter because why not just to give the skin a little bit of a glow. I have to say that Marc Jacobs blush is kind of amazing. Not really like woo over blush, but looks really pretty on. And then for highlighter, I'm using the Laura Mercier. And that is the final look guys. I hope you guys like my version of the Selena look. Of course, this was just an inspiration, not trying to copy her, but just getting inspiration from her classic makeup. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. And if you're going to Gem Beauty, let me know in the comments below. Love you guys and I'll see you in another video very soon.